Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you for all being part of it. I appreciate it, and thank you very much. I've seen some donations come in again. It helps so much to keep this channel going. I really appreciate it. If you would like to contribute, please go down into the description, and you'll see a donation link, and it's safe and secure through PayPal. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Today, I'm finally getting on the chassis in the back. I'm going to be scraping, wire wheeling, uh, prepping it, and then we're going to hit it with rust bullet. So I did ask a few times throughout some videos, do you folks want to see this stuff? And obviously you guys want to see everything and ladies. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Next week, we're going to do the rail around the trunk. We're going to remove the rail, do body work, put the new rail on for the seal. And I haven't decided yet, Mexican or German uh, seal, how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll get it figured out together. Uh, and I hope you've seen my video from two days ago. We got a giveaway coming up. That'll be a lot of fun. So let's get on it. All right. So we'll rewind back. As you know, the quarter panel extensions are on with the new bumper brackets. I got to grind this smooth and paint it. That's done there. All right, so I've got to clean that all up and paint it. We already put brand new shelves in. These little buggers were not cheap. I, I think these shelves were like 75 bucks a piece. I can't remember now. They weren't cheap. We got our back firewall done is what I call it. That's all rust bulleted. Looks better in person. This HD camera picks up like every little thing. And... Today, we're going to wire wheel, we're going to clean all of this up, make it real pretty, and we're going to go ahead and hit it with rust bullet. So, I'll speed a lot of the film up, though, with some music for your entertainment, because you, you aren't going to sit there and just listen to the drill, so I'll kindly do that. I'm going to remove this brake line and mark it, and no, I'm not reusing it, however... It's nice to have an idea about some of the bends when I put all the new brake lines on. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and get rolling. So, we're underneath the car here in the back, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be replacing all my brake lines. As you can see, uh, well, I didn't cut that one off. I cut the brake hose. I'm putting all new stuff on. Now, i got to cut this brake line off. Now, one thing I want to tell you, don't be an idiot and start cutting your brake lines, okay? I bought a whole new kit, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut the old ones off instead of messing around with the fittings. So, snip. Wow. And snip. we got to get in front of you a second there. Oh. Okay, I got to get a screwdriver up there and get to them tabs. Now there's a little tab up in here. I got to, there we go. Now, when you're doing, when you're removing, you're not removing, I'm sorry. When you're prying on these little tabs, don't, don't, don't act crazy because you don't want to break them off. You're just bending it enough to get the brake line out. See how I'm moving slow? Just slow. Let me get in front of you here. Give me one second. There we go. That's all the further you need to bend it because you don't want to break them off or you'll be trying to spot weld them back on. <coughs> I just realized something I did. <laughs> Now, regardless, I have to cut all the brake lines off, but oh, I cut this brake line. <laughs> it's okay. I got to replace that anyhow. So let me get this wire out of the way. Good thing I wore some really nasty clothes today. <clears throat> oh, okay. Now, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> now, 
Now, when you go to take this off, you want to mark this if, if you have to do your brake lines, P and D. I'll put tape on each side, and that way it's passenger, driver side. And when you're bending your lines, at least you have a reference to get you started somewhat. So let's get that out of there, and then we got to get that brake line out of there. So I already cut this, which is fine. And, whoops, let me spin this around. We're gonna go ahead and cut that one. Wow. And I'll have a reference to work with too. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and snip, I don't know if I'm in your way with this wire. This is a very awkward film. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this main line that comes through the floor and we're gonna take this fitting off. And I'm gonna go over a couple things with you real quick. Now remember that's your main line that comes across your floor. Wow. Okay, let me grab a 10 millimeter ratchet. All right, let's get up in here. They sell these, but I like to clean the original German ones up. And I'll show you real quick what they like, what, uh, what they look like when you do that. Okay, so I'm just using uh, vice grips to get these out of here. Uh, but it's a, I believe it's 11 mil millimeter wrench, but these are a mess. So I'm just worried basically about getting them out of there. I like the original German stuff. Now they do sell them, but it just seems to me that the metals and everything were just so much better, you know, the original stuff. So we're going to spin these up. I'm going to give it a quick wire wheel and show you what this looks like. And then of course we got to get back under the car quick. So I'm making this fast here. Ooh, all kind of dark in there. That's going to have to get soaked. There we go. And I know if you've not messed with brake lines, you're going to say, well, why didn't you unloosen them? They're coming loose, but the brake line would have twisted regardless. So, okay. Give me a second to clean this up. See how pretty that is? Now look inside. Uh, ooh. So we'll go ahead and soak this and clean it all out and blow it all out with brake clean and it'll be like new. But that's an original one. I don't really know what that means. If you know, chime in. I'm not sure. So, but I like the original stuff. I think it's much better built and you have a better All product. Right, now we have this clip here. I'll show you when I get it off, horseshoe clip, because I'm gonna remove the rear brake hoses. We bought all new stuff. So let's, there's also kind of dirt in here, but I have new clips. Let me get a mallet. Let me get up in here. Here it comes. Give it a little tap. Come on. Ugh. Like I said, I buy all new clips, so I don't much care about the clip. Okay, let me tap this out. Got my light. A little more. Okay, so this is what we removed. Okay, this goes in the keeper that's held up. And that is your brake hose. Always buy new, good German quality ones. And there's the brake line, of course, that I had cut. So. That's what's coming out of there. I'm gonna get the one out of the other side, but I'll speed the film up. 
Also, if you needed to know what that clip looked like if you're new to this, it's just a horseshoe clip. Now, I do have new ones, but you can reuse these if you straighten it out. It's not a big deal. Okay. Now, take it easy on these. Now, they're pretty strong, but if you do bend one, gently bend it back. Don't get crazy and start bending it back and forth. All right, on to the next step. First, what I'm going to do, I can't find my putty knife. I think Heather took it. I guess I had that one coming to me, but I'm gonna scrape the heavy stuff off first, because if not, it's just gonna clog the wire wheel. So I'm gonna get this heavy stuff off here, because it will clog the wire wheel up. Wow, this stuff's deep. This is like so good to do while you got everything out. Because no matter what, when you wire wheel and clean this up, put some rust bullet protection or whatever you prefer, you know, I'm not trying to aggravate you about what to use. Everybody has their own opinion of what they like. But for sure, especially when we get underneath the luggage compartment there, that's a big deal because you can see a lot of these luggage compartments are rotted out now. So we're going to get this all cleaned up. I am so mad. I, let me see if my putty knife's up here. Okay, it was in a different cabinet with the body supplies. I'm not sure why I did that, but who knows. But when you get all this crap off of here, you'll be happy. I mean, how thick that is on there. So you want to get all this stuff off of there. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and I'll speed the film up some really cool music. Give me a couple minutes and I'm going to point a few things out and we'll keep continuing on. Let me pull that off. Okay. This one, I don't know. I'll clean it up. I'm trying to spare some expense on a little bit of things, but uh, we'll see. Last time around, I bought all these new rubbers and parts, so this original Volkswagen stuff's nice. So we'll, we'll see what it's like. I'll heat it up a little and clean it. And when you do finish up doing this project, you want new rubbers on everything. Even though I just said that, I wanna see if that one's fixable you don't not know water getting inside the tunnel so now here we are underneath okay your transmission would sit here this is the underneath of the luggage compartment and now as you can see mine is solid thankfully but see that rust starting a little bit and that's what happens and the next thing you know you're cutting out the whole luggage compartment and trying to fix it so it's nice to clean these areas up when you have your drivetrain out and get them protected and rust bulleted and move on for a long time. So I'll speed the film up. I'm gonna get the heavy stuff off first. I don't know if I'm in camera view real well, wear a dust mask and wear safety glasses. I still gotta grab my glasses. Don't chance it and wear hearing protection if you can. So you see what I'm doing here. I'm getting it down to the metal and not even basically don't have to go to bare metal, okay? But you wanna get the heavy stuff off, the grease and oils and contaminants, all right? Because with rust bullet, you can even go over rust as long as you remove the loose stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the best I can to keep you in focus, and I'm gonna hurry up and buzz this carriage out here.
All right, so you have an idea of what I'm doing, okay? It's actually kind of a no-brainer, but I'm letting you follow me along with the project. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wire wheel this all up, probably take me, you know, about an hour or two. However, you'll see me in about three seconds, thanks to film editing. <laughs> I'll be right back. One thing I wanted to show you is I'm gonna switch. I'll show you what I got done so far to uh, the nylon abrasive wheels. This is 150 grit, that's 80 grit. I'm gonna see, cause they can reach in a little further cause they're longer than an average wire wheel. Okay, so we're gonna see how these do and I'll report back in a second. Got this all cleaned up. It may not look it, but it is. You just have to get the loose stuff off for rust bullet. So I went ahead, <clears throat> ran out of brace of all around there and got it all cleaned up. We're gonna get ready to rust bullet. Uh, I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna take it to about here on the luggage compartment because I have some work to do there. So we're gonna do that. We're going to do the chassis, the cradle, uh, and I'll move the jack stands in the end and hit underneath there. So let me get this out and warm the can up since it's winter time. So I'll be right, All right back. So we're over at the workbench right now. I took an air hose and I blew everything out, you know, from wire wheeling. It's all blown out. It's all cleaned up under there. Like I said, you just got to get the loose stuff off with rust bullet, but I went a little further than that, of course. Under the luggage compartment, I did leave the factory undercoating there. Some may say, you shouldn't do that, but I've never had a problem doing that. If it's stuck there that hard and won't come off, and it's not rusting on the other side, it's fine. It's my opinion. Do what you want. Uh, this is the Rust Bullet Dora Grade, okay? The same stuff, I don't know if that's focusing, that I used on the floor pans, the frame head, blah, blah. I like this stuff because also uh, it can be used as a primer if you get the automotive grade, but this here I can chalk it down with, uh, I think 150 or 180 grit, I think I got something in my eye now, and uh, I can paint over top of it. Uh, I might do that. Uh, this is what comes with the rust bullet. It's called Metal Blast, and it's the metal conditioner. So this is pretty much what I got to take a rag and wipe everything off real good before I apply the rust bullet. So I'll speed the film up at certain parts so you're not bored, but this stuff goes on thick and you can put two coats on as long as you do it. And I'll check and put it right here for you because I have to look, I can't remember. I think you have up to two hours to put the second coat on. So let's get some work done. Now uh, put a little piece of cardboard down here. <clears throat> when they're shipping this to you, one thing to know they have little clips, which is a really good idea. I'm not saying other people don't do it, but I'm showing you that they secure that lid so it's not coming open during shipment. So I'll bring you up close here so you don't have to look at my face. Now, just so you know, I did take a hair dryer and warm this can up because I screwed up. I wanted to take it <clears throat> and put it in the house last night because it's still cold out where I live. And I forgot because it would have been nice and toasty, but I messed up. Need a smaller screwdriver. So I used a hair dryer. I don't know. We'll see how that how that does and mix it up really well. This stuff is thick. You're gonna see when I'm mixing how thick it really is. Wow, he sealed that. Okay, let me get this off of there. And that. Okay, where'd my rag go? 
So, see how thick that is? It's almost like molasses. Make sure you wear gloves. Trust me, I didn't. <laughs> The one time I think I think it took 35 years to get off my hands, so it is warmed up a little though. I don't hope I'm not in front of the camera. I'm trying not to be, but sometimes it's hard. Uh, I'm gonna mix this up real good, and we're gonna start brushing it on. It's strong. It smells strong. You can wear a respirator if you want to, but for filming purposes, unfortunately, I can't. So, okay. I got cardboard down on the floor under the car, so I got this all mixed up. I'll catch up with you over at the car. Now I'm going to take the Metal Blast. It's a rust dissolver and surface conditioner. When you buy Rust Bullet, it comes with the uh, kit. I'll put a link up in the description down there. But I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off. Make sure you put a mask on. So I'm going to be quiet in a minute while I'm wiping it. I got to put my mask on. Now I got the most of it done because uh, I had to lay on my back and reach up inside. So what I done here is, let me move you a little closer. I saved the top part to show you how thick this goes on. I mean, this stuff covers like concrete and it actually dries like concrete. That's the funny part. But you should do a second coat. Uh, the directions call for it and you got to get it on the second coat within two hours okay I'm almost positive if I made a mistake you'll see it right now I'll put it up but two hours if you wait past that then you're going to need to go ahead and scuff it down with like 180 you know to uh, make it abrasive again because it ends up like a, and I'll show you the parts I got done in a second here. Uh, my camera quit recording for a minute there. But anyhow, uh, I'll show you. It goes, it gets like glass, like very hard, like concrete though. Almost feels like bulletproof. Oh, well, rust bullet. <laughs> but anyhow, this is why I'm doing this now, the top part, and then I'll show you what everything else I already did. It, it goes on like super thick so it's not hard to get this stuff to cover and like I said if you're doing like a truck frame or something and you know you're not on your beat or whatever and you have a rusty frame all you have to really do with this stuff is basically take a wire brush and get all the loose scaling off uh, I like I said I I wire wheeled it because you know, I like wire wheel and stuff for some reason, but uh, you don't have to do that. I'm not entering this car in Grand Concourse show, you know, to be scored. So I, I will say one thing now, next time around, I'm pulling the body when I do a car, but this stuff does go on thick. It's very, very nice how it goes on. I didn't load my brush enough there. Make sure you get cheap brush. Uh, don't go buying some $20 horsehair brush to use Rust Bullet because it just don't matter, you know. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I use cheap brushes when I do stuff like this. So, but I just wanted to show you this part of how thick it goes on. It's amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my gloves off and uh, I'm going to come back in a second and show you everything that I got done. Be right back. All right. I had to run back up here in the dark. Because somehow I lost footage again. I didn't... My camera keeps turning off. But anyhow, it's a little dark. But as you can see, it came out very, very nice. And... I know this is not real good, but the luggage compartment is all done. It's hard to get, you know, really, really good video out of some of this, but it's like glass. 
this stuff just as hard as a rock and very smooth and it takes a lot to chip it so we're getting there i mean it looks great it could look a hundred percent if i would sand down the bare metal and make it like glass but tar boards going over that transaxles going in there it's a good protectant so okay let's go over the front because that's next week's feature what we're starting and in between after i get this long block together since the heads are here new valves springs etc is on i'm gonna do an alternator install and all the cooling tins the fan shroud install i already have videos in the playlist under engine work uh, for putting a long block together so i'm going to slam that together fast but you'll get to see all of the rest so i think that'll be a second video every week so i don't bore you with just the engine stuff again you know i don't know if i do or not uh, but i'm going to do two videos a week for a little while starting next week so that you can see the rest of this going together with the alternator install and cooling tins and fan shroud and blah 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 and then we'll keep on uh, chaos at the same time. So I hope that all made sense. So uh, I brought up on my mods video that I got to remove all this railing. Okay, so I got to go ahead and figure this out. I got to go through the comments and answer them. Uh, I'll have already answered them by the time you see this. But I'm going to have to use, uh, when I smooth this out... I'm probably not going to be able to weld if I'm using some metal Bondo under here. But one thing I did notice is once I bust this loose and grind it and smooth it, I might be able to still tack weld here and there. And if not, I'm going to try to figure out what type of pop rivet won't rust or cause rust. Uh, I think aluminum versus metal causes rust. I can't remember. Somebody help me out here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead. That'll be a, probably a two-part, maybe three-part video. And we're going to pull these rails off. I'm better off taking them off. I'm going to place the order tonight for the rails. I thought I had them. I didn't. So that way, by the time I get into the second or third part of the video, I can go ahead and uh, have the rails to put back on. So hang tight. I'm going to close out. So that was the rear carriage wire wheel rust bullet video how's that sound okay i uh, got that all done underneath i've been dreading doing it laying on the concrete at 35 degrees is not fun but it's done that's the main thing we're going to start at the front next week i got to hit all the inner wells get those done and guess what we're going to start sanding our heads off doing suspension work brake line work and everything it's going to start moving along pretty quick after a lot of that stuff's out of the way. I learned that from the last project. One thing I will say if you've made it this far, I'm doing a Baja for my son next, as you are aware of. The body's coming off no matter what goes on. This is too hard with the body on because I, I'd like to get a little more particular on it, and I can't, and it's frustrating, as you've seen today, trying to get up in there. So the body's coming off the next one no matter what so thanks for being here uh if i can be on sunday night i will i don't know what's going on yet if i can't it'll be in the community tab i hope everybody is safe healthy happy and i will see y'all soon